guys, Wayna here and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I share with you guys really cool ways to update your rental apartments. So if that's something that you're interested in, then definitely keep watching. So in this video, guys, I am going to continue my rental friendly bathroom series. And if you guys are interested in a free rental bathroom checklist, then check the description box below. All right, so starting off, originally I was just going to add some hooks to my doors and from there, it just went out of control. You guys know that I am crazy about rechargeable LED lights, so I added a few underneath the sink so that I can see what I actually have. After that, I decided to make things a little purdy, so I picked up this contact paper from Target and I removed the doors, and the plan was to basically make the doors a little bit more decorative. So I removed the doors and I just added the contact paper over the command strips. And the reason I did that is because I already knew where I wanted the command strips to be. So I figured if I go ahead and apply this contact paper like normal, then I can just use my X-Acto knife or utility knife and just cut around it and it'll be seamless, which it was. And I also want to remind you guys to hit that like button if you like videos like this and subscribe if you already haven't. Hit the bell notification. Let's get back to the video. All right, so once my contact paper was secured to the door, I added my hardware back and I put my command strips back on there. See how nice and neat it looks? It's like it was just meant to be. And I like to hang my face sheets on the side of the door just so I can get that, you know, that store like feel now I was going to go ahead and add these acrylic shelves using some double-sided sticky tape but they ended up falling down so I ended up going with a different option So a few videos back, I created this Lux Dollar Tree Hacks video. And in that video, I showed you how I created a shelf to go inside my cabinet underneath the sink in the bathroom. So if you guys want to see that video, then I will link it in a card above or in the description box below. But yeah, basically for three bucks, I was able to create something custom. Now I would like to give you guys a full tour of my fully organized and decorated bathroom under sink area the motion sensor lights are my fave all right so this is how i hung my little diy project i just used two command hooks and it fit perfectly when i close this door it's enough space here so that it doesn't touch my clear bins and i have more command hooks that house my face mask as well as some nice little cuticle scissors that I like to keep on hand just in case I need to cut something but I want to point out this little piece right here so I like these because it stops my rat tail combs from like falling out when I open the door so that was actually good that I did that yeah so that was good and then you guys have probably seen this already because I did an entire video many many moons ago and I purchased these these are shoe um, containers from the container store they were for men's shoes but they have like organizers in them so you can have it organized with six compartments or with four or however many so I have no three or six so I have it organized with six compartments and I love 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 it this one's six this one's three I didn't put that little divider there so nice and then at the top I got this other clear basket or clear storage bin from Ikea it comes with a bunch of other ones like this one here on the, this side of the door uh, so this comes in this packet I think this is called and this is the motion sensor lights of course I think this is called the Gordman I want to say I'll look it up but this right here is something that I am very proud of, y'all. So, because I know my products very well, I love marrying stuff together. So this here is the 3M 
towel rack and I had my Ikea I think these are called the Rosk or so Ikea makes a rail system and you can add different things on it like these little plastic white boxes or storage containers and what I found is that if you purchase the 3M towel rack holder you can apply them to that as well because it's very pliable so what I did was hang them up and I just used the little baskets for extra storage on the door and it came in handy now if we move inside the cabinet then you'll see that I have a motion sensor light on this side and above and I store my mirror inside and then down here um, my facial steamer I like to keep it in plastic so it's not collecting a bunch of dust and then you know misting in my face some extra products and then this basket here I got from I want to say five below but it was a long time ago so I keep more products in here like extra products and then down here is also my drawer that I got from the container store and I like to keep all of my face products like all of my facial towels and my uh, face scrubs in here I use a new one every day so yeah I use a new cotton round every day if I want to tie my hair up then I have my little face washing bands here and then my pink towels are the towels that I use for my face I never ever 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 <laughs> use these pink towels on my body I just think that's a little disgusting so that is how that is housed here oh and this was moving around but I did put some nano tape on the bottom so it doesn't move so that's something that I would do and then down here this has like that little um, liner and that's what helps this to not move so boom toothpaste and stuff in here and yeah y'all this is my little under sink area all right guys so that is my organized and fully decorated bathroom under sink area if you guys like videos like this please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see a very detailed video on how to decorate your bathroom very spa like you know what to do give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment below and i got gotcha. you until the next video be you be beautiful be chic on a budget and i'll see you guys on one of these videos bye guys